As far as I can remember, I was born in a cold den. I wasn't alone. I was with my mom. My first few weeks of life were in the dark. I was born blind and deaf, and I had yet to develop. And I had no idea what the real world looked like until I opened my eyes. My mom was happy to get out of the den. Of course, she had been in there for months. Unlike my mother, I wanted to go back into the den. It wasn't as bright as it was out here. This was my first glimpse of the real world. It's boring up here. Oh well. Time to play. Let's go, Mom. Come on. <laughs> Come on, Mom. Let's go already. Stay here. When mom was away hunting, I came across a strange creature. Hello, do you want to play? Ooh. Hey, come back. Have it your way, Ben. A few hours later, after the strange creature left, Mother had still not returned. I was getting cold, so I decided to move. Mother had returned. I could tell that Mother was worried. Are you lost? Don't be scared. Oh. Hey, Mom. No! And that was the day we had a new family member. First, the little fox was a bit shy. We played games. 
And sometimes we had arguments. The little fox was like a sibling to me. We were a strong family of three. And nothing could keep us apart. The little fox was part of our family now. Even though food was hard to find, we still had fun. But some nights, the little fox would wander off. Nobody knew why the little fox did this. Perhaps in search of food. I remember that day. I went to search for the little fox leaving mother behind. You used me and my mom. You used us for food and protection. I thought you were much more than this. You don't know what it's like to lose someone. I hate you.
Oh no! Let me help you. There! Why is it so hot here? It can't be! So here I am now, kids, sit down and let me tell you something, please, tell your mother to stop hunting for me, I'm dying, it's too late for me, but it's not too late for you. please, promise me, you will never judge anyone, because you never know their story, this planet's too hot for me,